Hey guys, in this video we will be tuning NAC T100 analyzer uh, to make sure we would not see the slopes and changes like on the audio cards we have. So how to achieve it? First of all, make a loop. So connect outputs to inputs uh, to make sure that your signal is going inside. Next, uh, you see the levels. So that's where mismatch between computer output level and audio card input level. And that's where we can correct with oscillation. Okay. And also you need to make sure that input sensitivity is zeros. Balance zero, so everything is fine here. Okay. Output to input. And now we will use uh, calibration for the card. So it will play frequency sweep. It will adjust uh, card response. So our equipment uh, will be subtracted. Response will be subtracted and we will have the ideal measurements uh, for our card. And we'll be measuring only results uh, from the tape recorder. All right, let the process finish. It takes about a minute. Okay, you see, it's uh, coming to an end. And we will be uh, set at safe as default. So next time we should be uh, its program will load it from the drive and we would not need to recalibrate again. All right. So it's almost there. Just a little bit more. Last step. Okay, done. Now you may see a level didn't change here, and now we can go to 20 kilohertz. It shouldn't be changing significantly. See, like one decibel drop on 20 kilohertz left, and when we're going down, it should be pretty linear. Ah, it doesn't affect it here. It will affect on the charts. Yeah, it's, it's been written in the instruction. Now, if you may see chart and it's white noise and it's pretty linear no any problems here okay now let me reconnect the uh, device so i will connect it to the computer to the deck and output from the deck i will connect to the out inputs of the audio card So, so it's not very convenient to do with one hand. I hope it will not be a problem for you. I connect it. Now we are in the source mode and we see that it uh, deviates from zeros. However, our Nakamichi deck is tuned for 500 millivolts output. And that's where we have the minus four decibel. And if you may see here, so 500, it will be right here in the middle on the top scale. It will show approximately minus four decibel on the lower scale. So take a look yourself. Now, what we need to do, we need to correct sensitivity for these four decibels. And I will just set plus four. You see, 4.0 right here. Okay, that's where we have zeros, and now we have our chart straighten up. And now I can zoom in, and you may see that over all range, uh, there is just like about two decibel deviation. Now, to make it more clear and precise, let's do frequency sweep. And this would be source response of the tape deck. 
and you will see precise and nice image now. See, it just half decibel lower on 10 gears. Pretty minimum deviation, like 0 0.1 decibel between left and right channel. Okay, let's see how it will go. So it comes to 1 kilogears. 5 kilogears. 10. Okay, minus half decibel on the left and minus 0 0.8 on the right. On 16 kilogears, minus 1 decibel on 20 kilogears. Okay, now I will start recording. Let's type one tape and let's see results. Remember the small bump around 20 gears, all Nakamichi Dex has it, and ZX9 shows like plus 4 decibel or plus 3 on 20 gears and I can hear it it has a really bold sound because of it then we have minus one decibel drop around 80 gears then it's pretty linear and for type 1 tape it's a really tremendous job on the zero level as you may see it technically goes to, my, to 14 kilogears with minus 3 decibel level okay now I can repeat it and this will be, see, it's a red deviation of our frequencies. And let's go to minus 20. And we would need to just scale a little bit to better see results on minus 20. The bump on minus 20 is about 2 decibel on the low frequencies. But then it goes pretty linear. As you may see, very well between two channels, 10 kilogears, 15, 16, less than one decibel deviation, 18, 20, and it's type one tape. Okay, let's do minus 10. And I forget we can use these buttons below to keep the values. Uh, so let us keep this value. And pretty the same picture across all levels as you may see. Really, really great job from the Kamichi. Uh, Sound-wise, this deck is the best one out of all decks I have. Uh, it's very pleasant, at the same time very detailed, very good response. Okay, now minus 20. You see, it keeps the previous values and we can draw here. And this technically repeats the response. Maybe if I may tune a little bit better between left and right channel, so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.3 decibel difference. But all in all, it's pretty cool. Let's keep all of them. That is detailed, most detailed Nakamichi measurements so far, and the best results you may achieve. So, if you like to repeat yourself, so you can do it, just follow this video instruction. Unfortunately, many decks wouldn't be able to do great results on type 1 tape above 10 kilogears. Specifically, older decks they struggle quite a lot. Uh, 
So later decks like uh, good Sony, good Pioneer and so on, they do a better job up to 16, 17 kilohertz. Then started to struggle and only Nakamichi does a full job, so no difference, no matter what the tape. Okay, and minus six, you see, it's a little bit drops. After 16 kilohertz, but it's type one tape, remember. And now zero level. I believe response is perfect for the tape recorder. Okay, starting to drop minus two decibel and twelve kilogears, minus three on fourteen. And you see it drops quicker. Okay, now we're clear. Uh, and now let me turn on Dolby C. And let's see how the line will change. Dolby C working. No change on the bus region. No change on the vocal range. And start to pull up after eight kilohertz. You see it gets higher and higher and higher. And 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you see it does like uh, like a real to real recorder using Dolby C. Okay, that's how you can check it, tune it and use it. All right. See you. And here guys, I'm recording results of the metal tape and it's Sony Metal XR. And you may see how well Everything works without Dolby. Up to 14 kilohertz, we have levels on about minus two decibel, and then the drops. And if you will use Dolby system, it should improve. Take a look. So on the lower range, it should not introduce any changes. And you may see all metal tape it has like plus three decibel bump around 17 gears which will give a really nice warm and pleasant sound a uh, small bump above one decibel in the vocals range and then nice about half decibel pike not pike half decibel rise uh, in the highs to make it really really nice sound all those small changes really improve sound and this response is really precise. And as you may see with Dolby C system, it does really, really well. Minus one decibel to 20 kilohertz. Okay, I hope that would be it. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and put set like under this video. Bye-bye.